Hi guys, so after a very long time, I'm back with some new tutorials. So these days I'm making some videos for my Patreon only because I don't get much time to make tutorials. So in my free time, I just make files and put them on my Patreon. So this is the one I created for my Patreon port portal. And I will cover uh, like some elements of this in this tutorial, like these ribbons and maybe the center core in another video. So let's see how we create it. So in this case, in this uh, in this file, I use the mesh for these ribbons. Although you can use the actual ribbon in Unreal Engine. So I'll cover both mesh and ribbons. So if you take the Niagara and if I type and I'll just call it NS ribbon. Okay, and I'll also make a basic material and ribbon. In this, I'll just take the particle color and just connect this to MSC, make it unlit, make it two sided, and save. So if I open this, we have this fountain. Wrong fountain I have took, that's why it's showing me error. So I'll take type the fountain again and I'll take this one. Yeah, so we have this fountain, right? And I'll just delete all these modules and I'll take this velocity just linear and maybe on y and z. So these particles going to the y direction and these are sprites. So instead of a sprite, you can just take the ribbon and this is single ribbon. You can increase the width here, initial, like this much. This is single, you can make a cross by using the ribbon render, go to the shape and take the multiple planar. And here you can make it one, two, three, whatever you want. Now these are three, you can make also two or three. Okay, so this is what you can do. Although it should be visible when I'm using two, if I change the material, let me because it is single sided. It's weird. Oh. There is multiple in the constant case. Okay, so it is making it burn because of the screen. If you use like custom slide vector and go to here and make it direct and now if i make it two now you can see it's making it two so let me change the color a little darker so you can see see this is a cross okay now we can make our material so let's save all and go to here so what I did actually in my uh, original file, let me search a texture called Aura Texture. And I'll use this one. And if you don't know how to create this type of texture, let me show you how it looks. You need to go to my YouTube channel and search the texture in my video. You will find this video for a noise texture tutorial. You will find this video for a noise texture and go down you will find this package of noise textures on my patreon so there are lots of texture in it okay so basically if you take the planar and connect it here directly save this will reflect here and now you want to cut it from the edge so like if you have a texture and you are putting in planar this is head of your tail is this ribbon and this is the back part so what you can do if you take a texture coordinate shift c and i'll preview the green channel and then take the sign and make it two so this gradient will repeat two times okay now i will saturate just to make the values zero to one and now you can add these together and then take a smooth step and then you can control things up and I'll show you how. So when you can add these together and take a smooth step, it has minimum and maximum. Just make them parameter minimum 
and maximum and just add these together and connect to the maximum so maximum will always be higher than minimum i'll set the default value zero and one and just save it and then i'll make an instance of it and in the instance if i increase this minimum value you can see i have this and if i decrease this value it will be sharp so if you make this zero it will be completely sharp like this so if you put this value like this and i'll save and i'll use this instance in my niagara so it will be like this and we can just hide our black part so what we'll do we will just take the mask and connect it here and save so now you can see we have just this thing and we can make any color you want we are not using particle color right now so what i'll do i'll take the particle color and just connect it directly so now we'll see we have this cool for the tiling i want to control the tiling also and also i want pen so i'll just add a panel and also i want to see my material properly here so i'll just put the default values what i have in instance max is zero and minimum is one point something i'll just copy this and paste it here so it will be visible here also now i can pan my texture on y sorry on x and then on x i can increase the tiling because my ribbon is very long so i'll just save it So we have this thing cool but it looks very static and very flat so first thing to cover the color thing so what i'll do i want different color inside it so let me just oh this maximum should be zero so i want some colors so if i remove this emission from here it will be black so first layer i want black then i will want two layers if you'll see in this video if i pause you can see these we have we have some dark purple then light purple and there's a black so there are three layers of color so what you can do there are lots of things you can do you can uh, use three different steps and put the three different colors so let's say this is for the black and if i just take this whole thing or just take this step and connect this here and i'll i'll take the different minimum like i'll make this two and maximum will be the same so if i preview this one and because it has a different minimum i can increase the value so it will it will erode it like this is one and this is 1.2 so that means this is bigger and this is smaller if you can see when i'm shifting this is big and this is small so if i multiply this is smaller with a color like light purple and connect it in the emissive what i'll have because this is smaller i have this and then I have a black layer. So I will make this little darker. Then I want one more layer. You can add on it on the top of it. So what you can do, you can do again. Actually, there are lots of ways to do this, and I have already covered in my lots of tutorials. But sometimes you can try different things. So I'll put it here, I'll make it 1.5 and I'll just add this maximum which is zero and I'll add it here. So if I multiply this one with a like light purple and I'll just add it on it. So we will have three different colors.
and I'll make this one second layer 1.3. Okay, so you have this now, you can save it. And see, this looks already very cool. Now, this looks flat, so you need to add some more amount, uh, more randomness on it, more fluidy look. So, if I go to I have this blur texture that I can use this blur noise. So I'll just use that here. I'll use the same tiling and same panel. And I'll just increase the panel 1.5. So this noise is panning faster than this. And then I will add this noise to the UVs of this actual texture. But before adding, I will multiply it by 1. So by one means nothing will change, it will distort it completely, but if you decrease it, it will distort it, but not that much. So I'll just save it. And see, we have this. We can increase the velocity, it will stretch like this. We can also add curl noise a little bit if you want. And and decrease the spawn rate, and you can animate the curl noise like this. So, this is the one way how you do that with the ribbons. And if you want to do that same thing with the mesh that I used here, you can do also. So, you can go to the Maya or any 3D software, take a planar. And I'll just reduce the subdivision for now. And I'll increase this. So, and let's use actually some like this and some like this. Maybe 30 is enough. Or maybe just take a 15. So you have this, go to the UV editor and select all and just normalize so it will fit. And then I'll just control D to duplicate it, rotate it 90 degree to make it across like I did with my uh, my ribbons and I'll just combine this. Then you need to do one thing. When you want to like distort it like I did with the curl noise and you want to use world position offset in your material, this thing. So what will happen? Because in your Maya, if you go to the UVs and UV has these points on different coordinate. And if you use a noise texture like this one, so every point has a different shade. So it will distort it uh, very weirdly, very bad way. So what do you have to do? After solving your UVs, go to object mode and go to here and copy UV. Now you have two UVs. So you need to just go to the second UV and select all and just scale it to the zero. Okay. So what will happen now? Every point in the line is on the same point. So I can distort it properly. So now we have two UVs. I will just export it. Desktop cross ribbon and in my Unreal Engine, I'll just import that here cross ribbon. So, in here, I'll just duplicate this and I'll hide this first one. In this one, I'll take the mesh, and in the mesh, I will use that cross ribbon. And then we need this instance material. I will use it here. Uh, here. And the mesh size that is compiled. So the UVs is from other side, UVs are from other side. 
you can you can rotate your uvs in here or you can just change something in your material so like if i preview this here in the instance you can see it is like rotated so you go to the material first thing i will change the direction of my pen Second thing, this thing, I will change it to the red channel. That's it. Now it's going up. If I save, see, but the tiling is too high. So I'll just, you can make a parameter if you want. So I'll just make it one one. And now see you have this thing. Cool. So I have covered both ways how to do that. Yeah, one more thing. We need to distort it randomly like we did with rep one. So what I'll do here in my material, I'll just use this noise texture and I'll copy this whole thing. Change the texture coordinate here and then multiply it vertex normal and then multiply it with the parameter. I'll call it WPO and just connect it to one portion offset and save. So now with this, I can distort it. See, cool. You can control pan and any other option. So this is how I created this effect. I hope this is clear to you now. Thanks for watching. Keep learning and bye-bye.